Neil, how can you not root for Stafford after what this franchise did to him, Barry, and Megatron? Well, Doug, it's very easy. As, as athletes or as ownership or anyone involved with sports will tell you, hey, it's a business, Doug. This is a business. And you know what? It's a business for me, too. And my business is I'm a Lions fan. And my business is the worse Stafford does, the better the Lions draft picks are going to be. Hey, Doug, it's a business, man. And the other thing is we only root for the shirts. We really don't care about the athletes. We don't. If they're wearing Honolulu blue and silver, yeah, you care about him. If he's got on, uh, what's that little creamsicle color, whatever that is, we don't care anymore. Um, most people. But in very limited circumstances, we do root for the person. For instance, when Justin Verlander left, we wanted to see him win a World Series. I did not. Okay, but I a did of, not. A lot of people did. And I, and I never understood that because you know what? You had two chances at it here, and you didn't get the job done. To this day, you still never won a game in the World Series. I have as many wins in the World Series as Justin Verlander does. I know that's not the popular narrative, but that's what it is. He's gone. It's, it's like with Stafford. He's gone, and he's not coming back. Well, Stafford I'm still here. won it out. JV didn't. So that, that may be somewhat of a difference. Um, but um, but I'm still here, Terry. I, I You're still you. here. The, these fans, everyone here on this chat thread, we're all still here. So, yeah, if it benefits the team that I root for, for him to not do well, hey, it's a business. That's what we're always told, right? When the ticket price gets increased, it's a business. Which you have uh, stimulated my brain is something else about loyalty in sports. Yeah. No such thing. <laughs> there, and, and there shouldn't be. Um, because if someone is doing well for your team, you want him to stay. And when he leaves, you're like, hey, why is he being disloyal? But if he stinks, we're the first ones to get his ass out of here. We don't want to be bothered with this guy. So there's no loyalty. What have you done for me lately? Are you performing for my team? If you are, you can stay around as long as you want. But if you get injured or old or just stink, I want you out of here. That is sports. That's why I always say this. Sports is not the real world. No, it's not. And certainly Carmelo Anthony was in the news as well, talking about how there is no loyalty in sports. And I think Carmelo you know, said, hey, I don't feel that there's loyalty in sports. Sports is just sports. It's a business. And, that's, and that, for me, that's at the root of, of my discussion about Stafford and not wanting him to do well. If it can be a business for me as a consumer, it can be a business for you as a player or an organization, and it can be a business for me also. And that's what it is. And no, there, there isn't because that's the way it is. When you're no longer useful, you will be discarded. That's just the way it works. What do you got, Art? And do you use that same argument for Calvin Johnson in the defense of the Lions? Because even though it was contract and they both you know, signed and agreed on the dotted line, they could skew it in their way to say, oh, well, we didn't pay him because of X, Y, and Z. It's just business. No, it is just business. But what else is just business about that is the PR of it. How that franchise is perceived. Right. The likelihood of people wanting to do business with you in the future. Yeah. Mega agents. Free agents. And, and if all goes according to plan, Terry, if, if everything goes according to plan, like uh, the Lions said it, they're planning on it being. If Brad Holmes comes in, he kills the draft. This team gets to a point where they're a player away. And you know this, different stages of, of organizations, different stops that they are on the highway. If they get to a point where they're a player away, you want all the goodwill in the business community you want. And that, that's different. Like this Calvin thing is different because it can benefit you bigly in the future, especially in the free agency market. So, Terry, I would argue that's different. The, the Lions, as usual, made a dumb decision. When you don't pay Calvin, when you don't pay Barry Sanders, and all the other franchises play, pay their players if they leave early, here's how it hurts you. The Lions always want that big ticket free agent, right? That big ticket free agent was like, they screwed Barry Sanders, probably the best running back ever, and a Hall of Fame wide receiver. I'm not going there. Forget these guys. Right. And the Lions can make and all And these Terry, you know that's real. You've, you've right. talked to that, players off the yes. record. You know that's real. And for $1.6 million, which for the Lions is chump change. Right. It's a billion-dollar organization. And and then to have this way over you and then don't do anything about it, 
It's just bad business. And yes, technically by the contract, Calvin is wrong. But if you want to build goodwill. But in the streets. In the streets with your current players and uh, with Calvin Johnson and others, you should have just paid the money. Right, and then that's something where maybe down the line that, that could end up hurt, hurting the Lions, I think, especially if they're a player away. Tammy Chin, who is, who is the most big-time loyal Red Wings fan you, you, will, you will ever see out there, says, I'm loyal to the Red Wings organization. I will follow a player if I like them when they leave. But, Tammy, I'll put that on you to say, what if it's a situation where they trade Dylan Larkin and you get back a draft pick that's conditional based on how the team does? You know, I'm I'm sorry, Tammy, but I'm like you. I'm a Red Wings fan also. I will want Dylan Larkin to fill because I want the draft pick for my team to be better because Dylan Larkin's gone and he ain't coming back. That that's that that's what that's what it is. But man. that's but that completes your argument that there literally is no loyalty in sports from the fans aspect too, because you're following the player and not the team. And I see both sides of it though, because when I like a player, I'm following them wherever they go. But I want them to succeed. It's kind of like Stafford. Like, I want him to succeed, but I don't want him to do better than the Lions. Is he going to? Yes. I believe but- Ric Flair said it best when he said, you, when, when you're talking about other people, you want to hear that everyone's doing well. Yep. But not better than you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, if Stafford playing well gave the Lions a better draft pick, then I think you would root for Stafford. 100%. <laughs> then it'd be a win-win situation. Right. But the fact of the matter is he had the ball in his hand in the fourth quarter of a playoff game with a chance to win, and he didn't. I can't change that. That's what happened. We all saw it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what it is.